Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What time is it? Anybody? Anybody at all? You guys know what time it is? Let me give you a giant hint. It's Marshall's time. Or, or, wait for it, wait for it. Ross time. You guys know what that means. It's time to find some deals. And by deals, I mean two, three, so. So come on, let's go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh oh. Someone's trying to bust into a car. Walking into Marshalls to find some shoes to resell on eBay and make all kinds of cheddar cheese while somebody tries to steal a car in the background. And here we go. Favorite section. The clearance section. This is what we're working with. I just looked these up. Some Jordan, Blake Griffin Jordans, I should say. 39 bucks, pretty cheap. I like it, but uh, unfortunately, there's only a couple of them on eBay, and there's only one that sold within like the last couple months, and it sold for like $27, so yeah. Thought it might be a good find, but not so much. Aside from that, what are these? Some owners usually don't sell for anything unless they're Project Rocks, which those are not. Got some giant purple shoes that have been here forever. Don't think anyone's buying those, or these giant Adidas. What are these? Nike Renew, tiny, 8.5. Got some Adidas basketball. Usually not worth too much either. And that's about it, I just like these guys up. Not a bad looking shoe, I honestly kinda like it. But uh, 39 bucks, there is a couple lists on eBay for like right around 100, but there's none that have sold anytime recently whatsoever and i already got a nice little collection going on at home so i'm not gonna grab anything unless it's a really good find which uh these are so let's grab these and go <laughs> um oh i guess we'll look up these real quick see what we're working with what are these some air maxes interesting looking air maxes see what we're working with All right, just noticed my phone battery's at 3%, so let's try to make this quick. I actually like these Air Maxes, not gonna lie. They're my size too. I think these were here last time, and they're in the clearance section, as you guys can see. So all the shoes in this section have this little red clearance tag with the clearance price, but these ones do not. I just looked them up. They've sold recently for like, one was 70, I think one was 80. So if these were like 30 bucks or something, I'd probably grab them. If they had a red tag on them like all the other ones do, as you guys can see, except for these Jordans. But they do not, so maybe we'll come back tomorrow and uh, ask someone about them. Because like I said, my phone battery's about to die. And I still got to head to Ross. So uh, that's about it for Marshalls. Let's see what size these are. 13. No, thank you. Alright guys, moving on. All right, my phone battery is now officially at 2%, so this little uh, Ross adventure is gonna have to be super duper quick. Basically what I mean by that is, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go inside and look at the shoes. If they have something, I'll show you guys. If not, we'll move on to the next clip. The next day. Yay, it's raining. Guess who left all the umbrellas in the car? This guy. So, looks like we're about to play a game of uh, how dry can I stay until I get Yoda. Should be a fun game. Let's play! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. The game's rough again. Getting nervous. Super nervous. Raining way hard. I don't know how easy to tell from the uh, camera, but let's do it. Go! Oh boy! Oh boy! Rain's cold. Rain's cold. Get wet. Not winning. Not winning. Oh boy! All right, just topped in with my backpack, so now I'm <laughs> awkwardly scrunched up in the front seat. Oh, that's a little bit better. Oh boy! I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. Oh! Oh! Oh man! Much better. <laughs> That was a good time. Super good time. 
Oh, much better. Man, I hope I'm an umbrella in here somewhere. What do you know? They're hiding in here. I used to have like six in the house and I'm pretty sure they're all in this car and the Camaro. I suppose I should probably bring some inside for a huge, of course, now it's, what the heck, man? Like completely stop raining now. It was pouring rain and now it's like nothing. All right, whatever, we'll take it. Let's go. Let's go. Okie dokie, let's get all the mirrors and stuff situated and then let's begin our journey. Or I guess in a way, I'm kind of just continuing my journey from the other day. We're headed to the backup cam though. I always forget about the thing. It comes in handy, man. Handy dandy. All right, now the question is, where am I headed? Good question, very good question. And the answer to that question is, first things first, Wally World, because I gotta buy some shipping supplies, because I've shipped quite a few things on eBay this week, and now I'm fresh out of bubble wrap. And you gotta keep the stuff protected, so when USPS or FedEx or UPS or whoever tosses your uh, products around like a football, that still makes your customers in one piece. Customers appreciate that. That's why you gotta bubble wrap that bad boy. Anyways, I'm headed to Wally World, get some shipping supplies. Once we check that off the list, that is when I'm continuing my journey from uh, the other day, which was earlier on in the video. Those uh, shoe finding clips, yeah. We're gonna give Burlington another go. We might even head back to that Ross and Marshalls maybe. Or maybe not Ross. I feel like I was just there, but it probably was a couple days ago. And like I always say, you never know when the stores restock. Sometimes it could happen like right after you leave, day after you leave, a week after you leave. You never know. So you just got to keep on checking back. So that's the game plan. Today's a slow Sunday, man. Crappy weather. Tired all day. Okay stomach day. So uh, it's 5 o'clock now. Try to be productive, man. Make some uh, productivity gains. With that said, Wally World. Let's go. That's where we're going. All right, so the game plan is I'm gonna run inside real quick and see what they got. And I'll come back outside and tell you guys or show you guys, or if there's nothing, we'll just move on to the next door, which is probably gonna be definitely Marshall's. May as well check out Ross too, why not? Even though I was just at both of them like two days ago. Like I said, you never know until you go. I'm hoping I figure it out. I don't know. I don't even know if they restock like the same day every week. I'm trying to get like a feel for it but honestly I, I go to them all the time and i've still yet to see them in the process of restocking so maybe i'll figure it out one day and maybe if it's like the same schedule every week i'll start coming right after the restock but until then i'm just going as much as i can at random times hoping to find some good treasure fingers crossed let's roll made it all right so i forgot that i said i was gonna show you guys what i got real quick when i came back out of burlington so give me a sec all right brozos this is what we're working with got these bad boys for 3.99 gonna resell them for 20 no i'm just kidding these are for my little dude not a bad find though he needed a new swimsuit anyways not reselling that but i did get two things to resell and what do you know, neither of them are shoes. We got this ridiculously expensive Jordan jacket. Boom. Any more logos on here? Got this little, these patches down here. What is this thing called? So the back one's like. Pretty thick jacket. There you can see the Jordan. Oh, not yet. Wait for it. Boom. All right, so anyway, it's cool, right? Lots of you probably don't care too much about jackets, but this, these are the details you need to know if you're interested in reselling stuff, because this is all that matters. Obviously, I didn't buy this jacket to keep for myself. I don't really need a big, thick jacket like this in uh, Orlando, believe it or not. Where is the price tag? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to show you guys. It's playing a game of hide and go seek, and it's winning. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's check it out. 
Come on, man. I'm all kinds of problems with this. Price tag right there. 250 brand new retail Jordan. This is how much I got it for. $79.99. Still a lot for jacket, in my opinion. Honestly, I probably wouldn't drop 80 bucks on jacket. But like I said, I don't have much use for a jacket where I live. But obviously paying 80 bucks for it when it retails for a 250 not bad. It's uh, There's quite a few listings on eBay. I don't think there's any smalls though, so I should have only a small listing, which should be good, I think. It's, it means a lot less competition for buyers. But uh, all the listings for this exact jacket were right around like 150 I think. Stuff so flips for 150 140 I might even list it for like 140 is trying to sell it real quick. That's still almost double what I paid for, so not a bad flip. That's always what I'm aiming for, is to like double up on my investment, whether it's shoes, jackets, uh, or this next item, I'm about to show you guys, which is a Jacksonville Jaguars authentic football jersey. But what do you know? Alan Hearns, I believe, who was a, was a wide receiver. I think he plays for the Dolphins now. So uh, what's this thing sell for retail? There you go. 150 retail I paid. This was on clearance. $14.99. Not bad, right? Um unfortunately it has sold on eBay recently, but it only sold for like 40 bucks, I think. But still, like I said, the goal is always to double up on my investment, which means whatever I paid for it, in this case, $14.99, I want to get at least 30 out of it and double up my uh my investment. So uh that's always the goal. I think I should be able to definitely do this with a jersey quite easily. I think it's a pretty cool jersey to begin with. It's called like a Legend something or other jersey. It's legit though. Authentic, like I said, 150 retail. So I should very easily be able to flip this for at least twice what I paid for it. Same with that jacket, I'd imagine, or right around it. And that's it for Burlington. Now I am at my good friend Marshall's. What'd you know? It's right next to my other good friend Ross. So we'll go run inside both of those real quick check out what they got to offer and i don't know if i'm gonna film inside there or not i might just because like i said i was in here a couple days ago and this video already has a decent amount of footage of uh, me actually inside the stores which uh i don't know how you guys feel about that let me know do you like seeing the footage inside the store or do you rather me just go in there see what they got if i find anything good come out here and tell you guys about it or tell you about it at home or should i include a little bit of both what do you guys want to see let me know down below in the meantime though, since I've like all the uh, treasure finding videos that I've done so far are pretty much me in the store looking for products. I think this one's gonna be a little bit of both. Uh, we'll see how this one does. And let me know what you guys like. Would you rather see the in-store footage, the out-of-store footage, or a little bit of both? Let me know. And I'll try and implement that in future videos. Capiche? Sound good? All right, let's go. All right, so I was just here, I was thinking about it for a second, and I remembered I was just here Thursday night, late Thursday night, so uh, be interesting to see if they have anything new at all since it's pretty much friday saturday today sunday sunday i think it's like seven o'clock right now so a little under three days we'll see what they get moving on to ross whole lot of nothing at marshall's unfortunately let's hope we have a little bit better luck here Ooh, what do we have here some nike sb i'm honestly digging these i might have to grab these for myself Size, yes sir, size 10. Hmm. All right, these dudes are definitely coming on with me because I like them. <laughs> now let's find something to resell. Am I on one thing over here somewhere? Where's that? There we go. These guys right here. I already looked them up. They sell for like 120-ish. And there's a lot that have sold recently. 64.99, almost twice as much. So, uh. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab these two as long as there's no marks on them or anything. Let's check them out. I want to say these are Deion Sanders signature shoe because I think they had a different color way here the other day that I looked up. They didn't sell for nearly as much as these ones. There you go, there's a little football logo right there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these are Deion Sanders something around there. 10.5, not a bad size. They look pretty clean, so go ahead and grab these dudes. And what up with the other ones? These dudes, yeah. And what are those? What the heck, man? Who would wear these? Comment below and let me know if you wear these bad boys. How much are these things? Anything more than a uh, IOU, like $25 is too much. $44.99, that is way too much. What the heck? 
is maybe the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life. Gotta keep it real. If you can even call the shoes. Wow. All right, moving on. All right, so I'm just getting ready to leave. I was about to walk to the register, and what do you know? I just saw these guys hiding over here. This is what I was talking about. This is the colorway I looked up the other day. I think they're the same shoes, right? Let's check them out. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, look the same. For whatever reason, this colorway seems to sell for a lot more. I'm gonna look these up again real quick, but I'm pretty sure it didn't seem like a good buy. Maybe it's because it was a size, I don't know. Nine, nine's kind of small, but we'll check them out. All right, so I just looked them up again. These are the same price as the black ones that you can see. A ton of these have sold recently as well, and they actually sell for a little bit more than I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't grab them the other day. These ones still sell for a little bit more, but these were selling for like right around 100 pretty consistently, which, as you can see on the price tag, 65 times two is not 100, but still not a bad flip. And since a ton of them have sold recently, it should be a pretty easy flip. So I might grab these two. Definitely getting those two. Though. And I actually looked these up too, because like I said, I'm really digging these ones. I was gonna keep them for myself, but they're $39.99 and they're actually selling on eBay pretty consistently for like 90. So maybe I'll try and flip them if they don't sell in like a week or two. Go ahead and keep them. I don't know, man. The struggle is real. Trying to resist the uh, temptation of buying stuff to keep for myself when I go on these treasure hunts. But man, the struggle is real sometimes. Easier said than done. All right, all right, all right. Let's head home. Just kidding. I want to head home. But got to make pit stop to pick up some food for the familia first. Even though I'm not about the fast food life anymore. At least not right now. I try this whole plant-based vegan fun thing. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so taking a break from fast foods, so I'm not getting anything. But sometimes when you got a family, you got to do things you don't necessarily want to do to make them happy. That's what this little uh, PDQ run is. It was like my favorite fast food joint too, man. Whew, gonna, gonna have to smell that stuff while I'm driving home. Whew. The temptation is going to be so real. It's right though. Be strong, Jeremy. Be strong. <laughs> oh boy. All right, um, anyways, before I went on that, off on that little fast food tangent, I'm not gonna run you over people, I promise. I wanted to say, like I said, I'm gonna head home, take pictures, list this stuff on eBay. And then I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I want it to be like a weekly or every other week, what's sold on eBay type of video. I'm trying to figure it out. I wanna make it entertaining and informative and helpful. So uh, what did I sell this week? I sold three or four pairs of shoes, Michigan football jersey, and I think one other thing, a shirt maybe. So I'm thinking of maybe every week, like every, I don't know, like every Saturday or something, I'll just uh, I'll film, film during the week what I sold, how much I paid for it, how much I flipped it for, or how much I sold it for, and maybe I'll run over it. I'll do a little run through of like my eBay profits for that week or something. Uh, I feel like there's something, some other stuff I should include. I'll tell you what store I got the products at, and I don't know we'll just kind of wing it for episode number one or show number one or whatever i don't know what i'm gonna call it the game plan is i want to make it a weekly thing or an every other week thing and uh hopefully it will be entertaining <laughs> that's always the goal with all my videos don't know exactly how i'm gonna do it though sometimes the best way to go about this stuff is to just do it man just nike it just make it happen and then from there you just kind of learn as you go get better try and make improvements with each new video and i think that's how i'm gonna do this don't know exactly how i'm gonna plan it but we'll figure it out and hopefully it will become a weekly thing. If that sounds good, let me know. I feel like uh, I watch that stuff all the time. There's a couple channels I watch. One of them is Hustler Hacks. There's a few other ones. They're mostly like shoe resellers. So I'm not gonna copy them by any means. I'm always gonna try and do my own thing, but I'm gonna take little things I like and don't like from these channels and try and make them my own. That's the plan. And it seems like uh, people are interested in that sort of stuff, the reselling game. So I'm gonna try and dip my foot in there if you know what I'm saying. And uh, pump out some good quality fresh interesting informative content for you guys so that's all i gotta say about that oh uh, go pick up this food head home head to the gym make some moves and then we'll wrap up the video i don't know how i'm gonna wrap it up but it's gonna be a surprise so stay tuned tomorrow USPS round one, done so leave it right now. I'm gonna go hit up Tropical Smoothie Cafe, get my avocado on. This dude's playing hide and go seek with cars. Not a good idea in a parking lot, yeah. Get my avocado on, 
some yum yum time and uh then i'm headed to the mary j doctor or my bad the uh mary j dispensary to get my medical marijuana on so i can sleep better at night so that's like the only thing i actually use my green card for that seems to do the trick and it is sleeping it works like a charm every other time i honestly hate smoking because no matter what strand it is like every strand i've tried they told me at the dispensary like i tried like five different ones they're like this one's supposed to help you focus this one's supposed to uplift your mood this one's supposed to help you wake up or something no matter what it is man all the strains are pretty much the same to me they all make me tired so the only thing it helps me with like i said is sleep but i have serious insomnia problems a lot of it i think has to do with uh my uc medicine so MJ is the way to go. I'd much rather uh, smoke a little something all natural than take some freaking sleeping pills. So that is where we're headed. That's the game plan. I said a uh, USPS round one because for some reason I feel like I'm going to be back later today. I've got a good feeling that another pair of shoes is going to sell. And I always try and get it out the same day if I can. So we'll see. We'll see. I actually had another pair. These pink Jordans that I had listed on eBay sold this morning. But I made the mistake of, before I accepted the dude's offer, I made the mistake of not checking out his feedback. Rookie mistake. I looked at his feedback right after uh, I made a counter offer to him and he accepted it. I was like, cool, so another pair. I was gonna go home and box them up before I headed to the post office. I get home, notice the dude uh, sent me a message. And what do you know? The message says, I'll pay you Thursday. I'm like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> that's not how eBay works, guy. You got two days, just like everyone else to pay. If you don't pay within two days, eBay automatically opens up an unpaid item case. And this has happened to me like three times within the past two weeks. Some dude, and it's always like the more expensive shoes that I've listed. They'll put in an offer, either I accept or make a counter offer, and then they accept that offer. And then uh, they win the item. And then within like a minute, they send me a message on eBay saying, they'll pay, I swear it's like Thursday every time, but it's always like four days out. And eBay's policy is you got 48 hours to pay. If you don't, like I said, they open up an unpaid item case. So the first two times that happened, I was like, all right, maybe the guy actually will pay. What do you know? Four days go by, they didn't pay. I go through that unpaid item crap with eBay, wait like six days for that before I can release my item. Pain in the butt. So now I learned my lesson. I messaged that dude right back. I was like, I looked at your feedback and you have a ton of feedback that says, you don't pay for your items. Uh, there was like, this dude had multiple people say he did pretty much the same thing. He like bid on an item or he put in an offer and the buyer accepted the offer and then the dude never paid. So usually I try and like 99% of the time I look at the person's feedback before I accept an offer to make sure their feedback's good so crap like that doesn't happen. But I dropped my little man off at school and then uh, I was getting gas. And while I was at the gas tank, I made the counter offer to the dude and then i was at a red light and i saw he accepted the counter offer so i was like all right cool so when i was at the gas station what i should have done was look at the dude's feedback before i made that counter offer but i forgot and that's what happens sometimes you win some you lose some but i learned from my mistakes so now i just you can't relist the item that exact same item until you go through the unpaid item crap otherwise ebay won't they want their uh the cut of the sale that they think you made even though you're never really gonna get paid so if you want to get your uh, money back from eBay, or if you don't want to pay him for something that didn't really sell, because eBay always gets like a small percentage. So if you want that little feedback, you got to go through the unpaid item crap. And then after a couple of days, eBay will close it. They'll rule in your favor and you get your money back. But instead of waiting like six days to relist it, I learned to just, if you know they're not going to pay, you look at their feedback like this dude. And it's like a bunch of negative feedback saying they don't pay. You have like, you're 99% sure the person's not going to pay within two days. You can click on your same listing. And instead of relist, you can just click on something that's like self similar or sell one like this. And it pretty much does the exact same thing as relisting it. It takes all the exact same details, all the same pictures, and then check everything out to make sure it's good. Click on list item or whatever at the bottom. And it's that easy. Within like one minute, you can have it relisted. And you don't have to wait like six days. So that is my recommendation or my advice on what to do if you're selling stuff on eBay and something like that happens to you. Don't wait like six days or whatever before you try and relist the item. Like I said, if you know the person's not gonna pay, just do what I said. Save yourself time, headache. The thing that kind of pisses me off though, that there's nothing you can really do about it is those Jordans had like 15 watchers. And now that I relisted them, they have zero watchers. And it's always good when you have watchers because not only can you 
send an offer to your watchers, but also like every time you make a price change or something, they get a notification or email. So if they're waiting for it to go down, maybe like two bucks, five bucks, whatever, and you lower the price by five bucks, then they're a lot more likely to jump on it. So the more watchers you have, the better, but it is what it is. I think that's about the best you can do as far as that. But aside from that, I definitely also recommend checking out people's feedback ahead of time so you can better protect yourself and stay away from uh, buyers that aren't gonna pay. I don't know why people do that. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's not really like a scam. I don't know if they expect someone to, for some reason, send the item before they get payment. I don't know what sellers on eBay would actually send a person an item before they got paid for it. So I'm not really sure what these scammers or whatever are hoping to get out of uh, pulling some crap like that. But considering it's happened to me three times, like the exact same thing, all with shoes within, like I said, the past two weeks, it's gotta be some kind of common scam or something. I don't know, the only thing I can think of is maybe these people are selling like the exact same pair of shoes in the same size and they're just trying to get my listing off eBay so there's less competition. I don't know, that's all I can come up with. Anyways, enough about that. Let's head to Tropical Smoothie Cafe time for some yum yums all right i'm gonna stop talking like that <laughs> let's go all right all right all right we got the goods aka of colada smoothie and now my friends it's time to head to the dispensary but first when in rome you guys if you all uh, watch my channel regularly probably know where i'm about to head to real quick or maybe you do because it's right next to a tropical smoothie cafe or Pretty much right next to it and that my friends is one of my best friends aka ross oh yeah so as always i'm gonna run inside real quick quick hopefully it's got to be quick so i don't have much time and then we're off to see the mj wizard so let's go nope 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 uh, nope 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 Ooh, what do we have here some pink jordans for 39.99 size 8.5 wide no thank you <laughs> not having too much luck selling kids shoes so far so gonna pass on those ones nope 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 and that is a wrap all right good news bad news time good news that was a quick ross run bad news we did not find any treasure nothing to be found at all so moving on let's go Bing, bada boom, we made it now. Off to see the wizard, aka get my sleepy meds. Let go. Boom. And there we go. Got the goods in this fancy little all white bag. Let's see what we're working with. Boom and boom. Alright, time to go home. Maybe. I don't know. What time is it? 2.08? Ooh, let me cut it close. I want to stop at Marshall's, but I don't think that's happening. I got to pick up a little dude at 3. I want to go to the gym too, but I'm like 20 minutes away from home. So. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's uh, head out. But first, win in Rome once again. Obviously, I had to look up if there was a Ross nearby. What do you know? There was. So let's go check it out. New Ross. So exciting. We have here Cleo Mac Raiders jersey. Oh, come on, Ross. New Ross. Give me something good. Uh, okay. All right, so it's no go on jerseys. Let's check out the shoes. We'll have better luck over here. Hmm. What do we have here? Giant size. What size are these bad boys? 17. My goodness. What are those? What the heck? What are those guys? Now I'm kind of curious. Well, let's look them up on up. James Harden buckle shoes. <laughs> All right. All right, all in all, honestly, that's a pretty decent Ross store. They had a lot more shoes than the two Rosses that are right by me. And a lot more aisles. And actually had some decent finds, kind of, but 
kind of battling against time right now. So I don't really have time to look up a lot of them. I looked up a couple and I just grabbed like two pairs of shoes from a different Ross yesterday. So I told myself going in there, I wasn't going to buy anything unless it was a really good find. I had one that was like on the border, but side against it because there was a little bit of a checkout line. It's 240. And like I said, I got to go pick up a little man. I can't be late to that. So didn't have too much of a choice this time. But now that I know this one is over here, I'll definitely be heading back because it's a clean Ross store. Everything was organized. It was kind of crazy. I'm not used to that at Ross. Usually everything is like chaos in there. Shoes laying everywhere, all over the place. It's just madness. That one was clean, organized. I liked it. So we'll be back in the meantime. And I forgot about this thing. Let's go pick a little man. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, are only make believe. Those